Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my 10 week pregnancy update. So, uh, first of all, I'm a little late as always. Um, so my last update was at eight weeks and um, I think I was like eight weeks in one day when I filmed that. And I said I was gonna do them every two weeks. So I mentioned in my last video that my weeks turn over on Wednesdays and today is Friday. So I'm 10 weeks and two days today and I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's one of those things where if I don't get up and film like first thing, it ain't happening. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. So I work from home and um, if I try to film like in the afternoon, after work or whatever, uh, it's just not, it's not happening. So I have to film like early before I get started on work because I, I just, I can't. Something about like, I don't know, once my day is, is underway, I just can't seem to handle it. So um, today I'm just gonna talk to you about what I've experienced over the last two weeks. It's nothing really memorable. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about baby. So. Um, as for me, these past two weeks, I'm out of breath. That's probably like the most noticeable symptom. Um, I'm just really, really out of breath. I feel like just talking gets me winded. Like I'm not tired, I'm not physically tired, but just talking gets me really winded. Um, also the nausea is up really, really bad this week and last week. Um, I think I noticed it kind of right at week nine. And um, it's just kind of steadily getting worse. I'm just, I'm ready for it to, for that part to be over. So um, it hits me around like five in the evening. Um, I usually don't feel very sick during the day, but I definitely feel sick in the evenings, which makes it really hard to enjoy my day because I'm just looking forward to being sick. So I'm kind of dreading it all day. Um, a little bit more vomiting than has been. So, I mean, it's not like a daily, but definitely more frequently. Um, I'm starting to get really like super sensitive to smells and just like the thought of food. Um, still not really eating chicken. That kind of like puts me off. I've noticed I do fine with chicken that doesn't look like chicken. So if it looks like fresh chicken, um, like chicken cooked at home, I can't get with it. But like a chicken sandwich from like a, a restaurant, that seems to be fine. Chicken nuggets seem to not really bother me, but Something about fresh chicken just really, really bothers me. Meat in general is just kind of um, off-putting to me at the moment. So I don't know, I'm kind of hoping that that'll pass because it's been really hard to get protein. I'm struggling even with like eggs. I had eggs this morning and I wanted them. Like in my heart, I wanted them, but when it came time to actually eat them, it was kind of a struggle. Uh, I've been snacking on like pepperoni, just pretty much anywhere I can get protein. Um, other than that, like other than the nausea, Bailey, stop. This, this, this is what we're doing. Um, other than the nausea, mostly it's just um, like fatigue. I mean, just like normal stuff. So I go to bed pretty early. Um, I'm able to sleep in just a little bit because of work. So I don't have to log on until eight in the morning, which is kind of nice. So I can get up and have breakfast and get dressed, take care of the dogs and then log on to work and still have some time. Really, other than that, not a whole lot is different than was at eight weeks. Um, I can say that I've I've lost some weight, so it's not like super noticeable, but, um, and I asked me about it, and then I had a friend ask me about it, and my mom mentioned it to me, so I went ahead and got on the scale, and I have lost six pounds since um, I confirmed my pregnancy. So I think a lot of that has to do with I'm just not eating as frequently as I was before. I think that a lot of that just comes from the nausea. And then when I am eating large meals, that's usually when I'm getting sick. So I'm keeping an eye on it. It's not really um, a cause for concern. The doctor doesn't seem too concerned about it, but um, just kind of keeping an eye on that, make sure that I'm not, you know, getting like malnourished or anything like that. So trying to drink tons of water. Uh, I kind of cycle through phases of what sounds good to drink. So right now it's just plain water. A couple weeks ago it was um, tea, like any, pretty much any kind of tea was fine. Other than that, I mean, I, I really, I feel okay. I know this is kind of like a boring update. Um, just the normal stuff. I was getting some heartburn. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just normal stuff. So um, I'm going to get onto my app and we're going to see what they have to say about the baby this week. 
So at eight weeks, I showed you guys my app. This is um, today I'm using the Ovia app, and you can see baby's hand. So the whole outline is how big baby's hand will be, um, and that yellow is how um, big baby's hand is right now. So according to Ovia, this week baby Harris is now about the size of a tart kumquat. So that's that. Um, you can also change, if you've never used the Ovia app, you can also change the themes. Um, so Parisian Bakery is one. So here we are. And Parisian Bakery, if you can hear, that's Bailey chewing on her bone. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, the size of a Lego man, which is kind of cool. That is Fun and Games. And then Weird But Cute Animals is the last one. And a Cardinal Tetra Fish. So we've got some good reference points. I think some other apps describe Baby Harris as the size of a date prune. I'm not sure. Okay. So for my like update update, I use Pregnancy Plus. And it tells me, yeah, so Baby Harris is the size of a date this week, um, which is kind of cool. And they also have different themes on um, Pregnancy Plus. So, for week 10, it says, the beginning of week 10 marks the end of the embryonic period and the beginning of the fetal period. The kidney, liver, brain, and lungs are all beginning to function and the heart is almost fully developed. Your baby's head is now half the size of the body and that little tail that made him or her resemble a tadpole is starting to disappear. With ultrasound Doppler, your doctor may even be able to hear the heartbeat. Depending on the position of the baby, it may not be until week 14 before the heartbeat can be heard. The fingers and toes become properly separated, losing any webbing. The eyes are moving from the side of the head to the front, where they will eventually be located. Bone development continues, and we even start to see joints. Your baby is preparing to make some noise, with the diaphragm emerging this week. If you're carrying twins, you're better prepared for the duet they'll be singing at birth, which I'm not. Your little baby is now about the size of a date. So, that's what we have for um, 10 weeks. Baby is 1.22 inches long and 0.14 ounces. So that's that's pretty much it this week. It's a pretty short update. Um, we have not had an appointment since uh, seven weeks, six days, where we saw our fertility specialist for the last time and graduated from the fertility program. And we have an appointment with our midwife on the 29th, which is gonna be 12 weeks. So that'll probably, excuse me, oh my gosh. That'll probably be my next update is after we see the midwife just to kind of get some information there on what's going on. If you guys have any questions before that, just leave them down in the description or in the comment section for me and I'll try to get back with you as soon as I can. If you haven't seen my eight week update, I'll link it in the card somewhere. Oh my goodness. And I'm super out of breath. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for spending these last couple minutes with me and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.